Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite! Hey folks, welcome back to another King Gunsmith's video. Today we're going to be looking at a uh, punch set, the Wheeler Engineering Punch Set. Um, this can be had for around $20 to $30 on Amazon, uh, eBay, whichever, pick your poison. Um, you know, as a, as a gunsmith, you can start out with some basic tools, you know. I started out with, you know, using a nail, you know, a finishing punch, um, you know, for finished nails or something like that. But you're really going to want to invest in something a bit nicer um, because once you start working on you know firearms that aren't yours um, you're gonna you know you're gonna be held liable if there's a ding on a receiver you know if there's you know for instance if you if you're working on a firearm with a nice laminated wood finish or something like that um, you you're gonna be held responsible for when you know you're taking some random hammer from your shop and you're just uh, banging away on something and it slips and you knock a nice piece of chunk out of that wood you know you're gonna be held accountable and it's gonna be it's gonna cost you some money to get that replaced you know as we all know you know gun parts guns in general the, the entire business is not cheap so you're really gonna to want to take some care and you're gonna to want to buy proper tools you know you're gonna be spending some money but that's all part of the you know the, the occupation hobby of being a gunsmith is spending you know money you can start out if you're working on your own guns you'll feel a bit more comfortable you know using some you know random tools but when you start working on other people's guns you want to take pride in your work you want to take you, you don't want to take any half measures okay you want to be you want to be professional with your work and you want to be clean with your work and for that you're going to need the right tools there's no way around that you know we all try like i said i tried with the nail punches it didn't work like that spend the money you know you'll, you'll thank yourself later uh, for when you do slip and you realize oh i had a nylon head on that you know it's 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 no biggie it's not going to hurt it so just be, keep that in mind, you know, you want to you wanna have some sense of professionalism there. So this is a very basic kit. It's not the most high quality. Another thing you'll realize in the gunsmith business is that there's always something above the tool that you have. Um, you, can, you can never go top notch, it seems. But this is a very basic starter kit. Um, you know, it's got pretty much everything you're going to need. You know, the hammer quality might not be the nicest. You know, it might be, you know, Harbor Freight quality, we'll call it. But hey, you know, it's it's something that you need and it's something that's going to get you to, you know, the big the big races one day. So let's go ahead and start out with um, the basics here. You have, we'll start left to right kind of uh, from the top. You have a very basic 332 punch. This is a steel punch. This is going to be, you know, if, if, you, if you're doing like inside receiver work, um, you're going to want to use something like this. Um, it's very uh, rugged, you know, it's not going to you know the brass punches right here are a bit more softer um, but that also comes with the disadvantage that brass is softer so if you're punching something out and that that punch slips you have a 50 50 that's going to ding that you know depends on what material you're working with uh, regular steel carbon or steel things like that um, so just keep that in mind a uh, very nice punch you know it's a small small punch for this uh, you know small pins things like that uh, and those are kept up here and then you have a 1 16th punch, same configuration, you know, steel, very small. Um, one thing that I found out with this particular kit is that these are going to bend fairly easy. Um, no biggie, just take your vise and, you know, kind of kind of tap that lightly with the ball peen, you know, small hammer, and get that back to formation to where it's straight. Um, so you, you kind of want that uh, to be straight because if you're doing work, you don't want that to slip off. You know, you want to you have high quality work and you want high quality tools. Here's a basic hammer. This is um, about a three ounce hammer. You have a brass side, which is going to be for punch driving. Um, and of course, you can also use a ni nylon side for punch driving, but you're going to be banging that up more than so the brass side. Um, and even brass is a very um, soft, it's a softer material. Um, so you're going to be, you know, dinging that up somewhat. So you want to, you want to you know what, which one to use options. This, if you're working on nice areas, you know, the top receiver, you're going to want to use a nylon side because you are going to be banging up against some, you know, metal from the gun or wood, and you don't want that to scratch. If you're using this, you have a chance that you're going to scratch that or ding that wood up. I know a buddy of mine, he was working on a four end for, I believe, a Mossberg, uh, one of those variants, um, 
and he was using a similar setup like this I believe it was a ball peen hammer and he had a brass side and he, he had taped up the you know he had taped up the receiver good um, not the, excuse me not the receiver but the wood just the area he was working at he was trying to he was trying to uh, get the fore end out of the gun it was stuck you know it was gnawing up against the receiver and so he was hitting that he was hitting that wood and he struck that laminate he should have been using a nylon so first of all he shouldn't have been hitting up you know using brute force against wood he should have had something there to kind of absorb that shock you don't just want to go and hitting wood if it's a nice um, piece of wood, you know, it's nice laminate. It's very uh, foreigns are you know expensive. That's how gun manufacturers are. They, sometimes you'll you'll think you know, hey, let's just buy the new part. Well, sometimes you'll you'll buy all these parts and you'll say, why not just buy a new shotgun? Why not just buy a new rifle? Um, so a lot of a lot of other companies are coming out with you know, of course, different different variants of you know parts and things of that nature. But it's just it's just something to keep in mind. You want high quality work. You don't want shoddy work. Um, it's just, it's very unprofessional. You know, especially if customers watching you, you know, do a quick job or something like that. Um, I usually just sit back here in the shop and then do things like that. But, you know, if you're, if you're really hell bent on doing that, get, get the proper tools. So nothing, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on the hammer. You know, just basic, you know, nice three ounce hammer. Um, it's going to get you, you know, punch driving stuff. So now we're going to get into the polymers. Um, these are just multi-purpose. You're not going to be wanting to, you know, bang the crap out of these um, because they are going to break. These are just cheap polymer plastic. You got a, you got a large uh, 1564s here and a 38s here, and these are going to be good for large punches that don't require delicate work. Uh, if you're just driving a huge punch out, you can use these, or you can use the uh, the brass ones. And then you just got your 18s. Um, I put electrical tape if I'm doing a lot of work with a certain punch. And um, that just, you know, keeps the wear down, you know, kind of helps it a little bit, uh, keep the wear down on the hammer. Um, and then also one thing to note is on any punch set, really any tool that requires delicate work, it will start to mushroom out a little bit. You don't want to take your bench grinder and kind of grind that mushroom down. You want to keep these as flat and as straight as possible because then you're just going to get even more shoddy work and your punches are going to be malfunctioning. So just keep that in mind, guys. Just kind of bench grind that down, um, keep it nice and uh, straight there. So I'm not going to go over all these, you know, you got your thicker punches here, uh, but really guys, this is just a great startup kit. You got 1.8s through, you know, 5.16s, things like that, 9.32s. Um, you got another 1.16 uh, punch here. So obviously, you know, I guess their, their mindset is that you might break these, um, so you're going to want to keep extras around of your steel punches because they're somewhat delicate when they're small. And then you got another three, uh, three thirty seconds here. Um, punch. So I haven't used these. I just use the top ones. You don't want to keep switching them out. You want to. You want to. You don't want to use both of them wear them down at the same time because you need. You need these backups here. And then um, you know, biggest punch. You know, nice, nice quality, nice gnarling, um, gnarling in here. Um, you know, it's a good texture to kind of get in there delicately. So we're going to go ahead and go over to the bench. I'm going to show you um, a good scenario of when to use these. I'm just going to drive some 870 punches out. Um, so I'll meet you guys over there at the bench. Hey guys, so uh, we're at the bench now, and I'm going to go ahead and show you an example of using the Wheeler punch set, or really any punch set. Um, so we're just going to take our, uh, I'm going to take a 1 8th punch out, uh, like so. This is 1 8th um, for that second pin. And then I'm going to take a, um, I'm going to take a three, one of our steel 332 uh, punches for the first pin. And then of course you get your trigger pin and then your, uh, your uh, stake pin there. Um, so then I'm just going to take the uh, hammer. I'm going to show you a quick demonstration. Just put the uh, kit to the side. And so, um, when you're driving, like I said, you want to keep things on the uh, you know nice side. So you're just going to get a very stable. I'm trying to get this in the uh, viewfinder here. You get a very stable uh, grip on that. You want to you want to take it nice and slow and just you know give it a nice gener generous tap. Don't stay, don't you know don't go pounding on it. And you're going to drive it out to the edge. You don't want to start banging in there because then you're going to be, you know, messing the, you're going to mess your punch up further and you're going to mess the side of that. You're going to gnarl it up. We're going to take our brass punch now. And uh, like I said, if you want to be super careful, you can use the uh, nylon side. I'm using brass sides. I've had a lot of experience with punches, so I feel pretty comfortable. You're just going to give that a few taps. Get very stable. And back it out. And then that's uh, that's pretty much how you're gonna drive pins out. It's a very nice set um, to drive pins out. You know, you got different sizes. You know, we just had a situation here where we needed um, 
three thirty seconds punch and a one eighth punch. So, like I said, just keep uh, keep the appropriate size, keep the appropriate tools in your shop, and you should have no problem. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the uh, comment box below. I'll be more than glad to answer them. Um, if you want me to do any more tool reviews, um, I, I'll do those in the future. I just want to, you know, I I started out, you know, looking up which tools were the best, and I could never find a real clear answer. So I started going to the forums and things like that and was researching, you know, what tools do I need to start out, what tools do I need to get advanced, and uh, Wheeler Punch Sets, they make they make a really nice, um, oh crap, it's a gunsmith uh, screw set, and um, that's a very high quality one. I have a basic Winchester uh, Smith set. Um, I know, I can't remember, I know Brownell sells, um, it's, it starts with a name, it's like Magnavox, something like that. They make a really, really high quality one. Of course, it's extremely expensive, expensive so you don't need all that. Um, that's another topic, though. Gunsmith screwdriver sets, that's very important. Almost as important as having the right punches. So just keep that in mind. You know, if you use the right tools, um, you're going to get the job done more efficiently and more safe, safely for the uh, firearm and for your business. So thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, if you got any questions, uh, go ahead and ask me below, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.